Olá, pessoal! Boa tarde! Que ótimo ver todo mundo nessa quinta-feira parada, aproveitando um sonzinho e a fim de entender um pouco mais sobre a Croácia e sobre a Secret Dalmatia. É um prazer ter todos vocês aqui com a gente. Bom, para quem não me conhece, eu sou a Ana, da Teleportfólio, a Paula e a Luísa. Olá! Olá a todos! Então, a gente está super feliz de trazer para vocês um cliente novo. A gente está super animado com o próximo verão europeu. Então, a Secret Dalmatia é um DMC super especial que faz Croácia e toda a região. A ideia, então, da série é começar hoje falando um pouquinho dessa parte mais geral da, da Croácia como um todo, é, os serviços deles. E depois, nas próximas sessões, a gente vai falar de vilas, que acho que é um produto que vai né, crescer bastante agora no futuro os iates, que eles têm uma super expertise, e também falar da parte de vinhos, de comida, da parte ali que tem todos os países ao redor que complementam o destino. So we have Alan, Ivana and Lia. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're very happy to have you here. And uh, we just wanted to know a little bit before we start about the COVID situation, what's happening now, and uh, if the hotels are opening soon, what's, what's going on? Uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm the owner of Secret Dalmatia, my name is Alan, and uh, I'll, I'd like to welcome you all to this session, this is very exciting for us, first time we're actually approaching Brazilian market, and uh, we are looking forward to welcoming you to Croatia, but not soon, still a COVID situation, and in a couple of more months we'll know more about how this season will look for us, Croatia is currently closed for all travelers, but the country depends on tourism heavily, and they will be most likely easing up uh, on the restrictions by May. However, we are monitoring the situation closely. Uh, hotels are not opening before May, so we'll see you know, how everything goes and uh, act accordingly. But it's a good time to get to know us. Definitely. Everybody's really excited. We have a lot of people that we know already, like very close to us. And also I saw some new um, new names uh, that arrived here in the in the chat. So I'll just do a little um, introduction about Tiel really quick in Portuguese and then we can start. Então, gente, só para voltar, que eu acabei não fazendo a introdução da TL. É, eu sei que tem algumas pessoas que estão entrando pela primeira vez. Então a TL é uma empresa de representação. A gente faz toda a parte de marketing, divulgação de hotéis e DMCs muito especiais ao redor do mundo. Então depois a gente vai mandar um follow-up para vocês. E uma coisa muito legal, para quem participar das cinco sessões com a Secret Dalmatia, eles vão oferecer na sua primeira venda um walking tour para os seus clientes. Então é uma, um incentivo para vocês divulgarem e tentarem fazer essa reserva. No e-mail de follow-up também eu vou mandar as regras. Então é isso. We are ready to go, Alan.
Great. Now, Alan, we can start with you. Ok, very good. Uh, ok, so guys, you... uh, a gente vai mandar todos os vídeos e fotos e, e dicas de itinerário da Secret Dalmatia. Sorry, Alan. We will send this video. They love it. Very good. So, uh, this is the, our presentation and I would like you to learn a little bit more about us uh, as we are a small company out of Croatia. We started in 2005. We have a lot of experience in luxury market and uh, most of our market was in US, Canada, English speaking market so far. Lately, we've been seeing a lot of interest from uh, Latin America, and uh, we decided to pursue by learning more about the possibilities and what can be done uh, to accommodate uh, clients, kind clients from uh, Brazil from uh, and the rest of the Latin America. So we are located in Croatia. Probably many of you know, and I've seen quite a few Brazilians being here already, and the Croatia is this uh, small country in the south of Europe, but very diverse, a uh, lot of different uh, landscapes and cultures in, in a small country. It's best known for its coast with uh, over 1100 islands. It's a European country, EU country. It has a lot of UNESCO cultural treasures and natural treasures, but it's also known as a very good country for food and wine. Uh, as we are very have unique uh, wine heritage, there are 300 wine regions and more than 7,000 producers. Oh, the only country that has more wine regions than Croatia is Portugal. It's just a small curiosity that uh, many people don't even address, but uh, it's interesting to know. So top destinations in Croatia are always Zagreb, Plitvice, uh, Split, Hvar, Dubrovnik. And the upcoming destinations are destinations that are on the radar, but not that often, are Istria, Vis and Brač Islands, Zadar, Šibenik region that offer quite a few unique sites, uh, no matter if it's nature or it's uh, culture, but uh, all these areas coming up as, as very strong destina destinations and maybe not, not as popular at, at the moment like Hvar and Dubrovnik, but definitely something to see and enjoy there. Croatia is surrounded by other European countries, but also it was a part of former Yugoslavia. So this country is, is a unique and common heritage with the Bosnia, Serbia, Slovenia, Montenegro. As you can see, when you want to combine Croatia with something, some other countries than Slovenia, Montenegro are usually the best countries to combine it with. But we had clients doing Italy and Croatia, Hungary and Croatia and similar. On the left, as you will have this document handed out to you, this is uh, these are just small details of how biggest the country what the most important information is about a country as we are quite small we are only four million people this is by last census it's 4.2 million but now expect the number to drop but uh, this is a country that definitely has very unique heritage no, no matter if it's historic or it's natural uh, in terms of europe as you can see croatia is located Southeast, we are close to the Italy, we are close to even Turkey, we are close to Greece. When you have clients that want to combine uh, different areas in Europe, Croatia definitely has a good connection to all these countries and can be combined easily. But uh, most often it's combined with Italy, Slovenia and Montenegro. So more about us. We've been known for uh, being part of um, Pure for seven years now. And that proves you that we've been, you know, uh, really focused on experiences. Uh, we worked with the great names in the industry, we worked with Based on a True Story, Truffle Pig, all the companies that provide really unique uh, food and wine experiences and unique journeys for their clients. We are a small team. We try to be a small team, but very effective. So we respond very fast. We try to work. I, I work very late hours. I try to respond to every email as soon as possible. And then we try to, you know, get back the results so you don't waste time with your clients. We are very passionate about revealing secrets of our region. I've been writing a blog since 2009, you know, about really not well-known things. Now we're starting a YouTube video channel that will focus more on unique things in the area just to enhance what actually is still present here. Uh, our services uh, is basically everything that you can expect. We do everything. We are one-stop shop for all the services that you may ask for in Croatia and this region, everything from transfers to yacht charter, to luxury villas, to experiences, food and wine, special dinners. Basically, we do like, as I said, what you expect from a luxury operator, but a uh, luxury DMC, but uh, we always try to have a twist on things. So it's never the same. As much information as possible, if you can deliver to us on your client, more unique things we can provide. In the past, you know, the entire network works basically as a network of spies. So let's say if we have a client who wants, who and we learn, if we did 
didn't even do, get the information, we learned that the lady maybe drinks only white wines. We suggest, you know, we learn about it. We keep white wines all throughout the trip, just making sure that she's always happy. She doesn't have to choose. She always knows, you know, that she's getting the best along the way. So those kind of little things differentiate us from, from the rest. People we work with is basically what makes us quite special. Obviously, the clients will not see us. We are a DMC. We stay in the background. We are not seen. We are only there to follow up and make sure that everything goes well. But the clients meet some of the nicest people in Croatia, some of the most unique characters, some of the most fantastic chefs, and see and experience some of the best things that the country can give you. Alan, sorry, yes. can you tell a story that I love about your friend that had some guests from the university and you called them? And uh -huh, you... yeah. <laughs> uh, so one of my clients was um, Dean of Oxford University from UK, and he came to me, you know, looking for a very special honeymoon. That was his second honeymoon, but he came to me, as, you know, looking for something quite unique, uh, but leaning more on culture and the history of the region. So I put him in touch with my friend Domagoj Nikolic, and uh, Domagoj was a very, very enthusiastic character, and he took, took him as guests to his home and cooked for them, you know, and they drank and they, and they had fun. And then at 9 p.m., I'm calling to see with him how everything went. And he said, what do you mean how everything went? They're still here. So they left around midnight, you know, and then, you know, the client gets back to us and says uh, to the agent, and says, wow, this is, you know, what's what's going on? You know, how do, who do you know these people? But that's why I started the company. The company was started uh, because of my desire to you know, to give the best to clients. I never liked mass tourism. And I always thought that Croatia can do much, much better than just give, you know, a hotel, you know, somewhere to, to go on the beach, now the yacht and the guide. No, you have to make everything quite, quite special and unique. And that's why, uh, you know, this whole Secret of thing actually evolved. And I wasn't chasing, you know, going out to agencies. I just want to have a very, very solid product that I can trust. And I know that these people, all these people respond to me. So that was the key when I was building all this up all these people on, the, on this page are, are my close close friends and that's how we work they are responsible to me directly culinary that's a big thing for us this Croatia has excellent food and wine and we try our guests to experience it throughout you know throughout the journey and no matter if it's seafood if it's homemade stuff or if it's a great restaurant we are very picky I have my own selection of restaurants that I go to. Some of the best chefs in the country are my personal friends. And, uh, you know, we don't take this lightly. This is very, very important when people travel. Uh, food and wine make, they may, this may seem like a small component, but for us, I think, uh, you know, people, when they are happy, when they eat good, they're always very, very pleased with their trips. Adventure, while not all Latin American clients are into adventures they often decide to go with something more exciting than just you know going on the beach and and uh, party very very long hours and, you know have great restaurants and everything else so we, we have a good selection of adventure programs no matter if it's cycling in the hillside even skydiving and you know sea kayak under the walls of dubrovnik everything else is very, very nicely put and included with itineraries. We build itineraries, making sure that people experience the country, but also to have quite a bit of downtime. So it's never really you know, pushed together. If we have an active family, we will obviously give them quite a bit of activities, but we always try to give them you know, more time to relax and, and to enjoy. After all, this is a holiday. Culture? Alan, uh, uh, just, uh, yes. just before we move in, regarding the guides, we have two questions here. The first one is how easy to get Portuguese speaking guides in Croatia. And also the other one is to know if it's possible to have the same guide throughout the entire journey, if you can pay for the guide to go all, all the yes. way with you. Yes, that's not a problem at all. Portuguese speaking guides are not so common. They often get substituted by people who speak Spanish and there are more Spanish speaking guides or English, but uh, there are Portuguese speaking guides in almost all destinations and it's good to book them in advance. So we, you know, we work with them, but it's not readily available. For longer journeys, yes, we can get a person to travel with uh, a client. That's not a problem. The client wants just to have a, a chauffeur or chauffeur plus a guide throughout the journey. That's not a problem. We've done it several times, you know, every year. Wow, that's great. And we also have another question from Julieta. Uh, she wants to know if there is um, activities for kids. Uh, how, how, like, what about the age that you recommend for kids in Croatia? Like, little ones are well served. How does it work? There are a lot of things to do for, for children. 
Uh, last year in 2020, we had an American family of six adults and eight children, uh, ages five to 13. Ivana, who was here, who's here right now, handled the entire group with activities daily. So everything from visiting birds of prey in a sanctuary, uh, doing a special activities for them, visiting artists in their own studios, just you know making things for children, creating unique you know games for them, even a, a cooking class that's adapted you know for children's age. We also have a caving trip. We had a ca we have a caving trip that I tested with my son while he was four years old. That's still one of the most popular things for children coming to Croatia. It's very very safe. We have a fantastic guy there, and uh, it's it's something that children simply enjoy immensely. You know, they have these overalls, they have a helmet, they have these lights. You know, and uh, it's a great great fun for them. We had a girl as a client, and uh, she was 14, and she was afraid because she was a bit bigger. You know, uh, she was afraid that she won't be able to enjoy the cave and she was quite depressed about it but after she did the cave the girl was glowing i mean it was like you know something that she finally said okay i can do this so those kind of things uh, with really exceptional guides are, are great success for children and we can keep them busy throughout now oh, that's really nice i want to take my little ones as well yes <laughs> yes so, we, we can move on Yes, uh, for culture, again, Croatia is not a, you know, you have Italy, you have Spain, you have Greece, all the culture, all the big cultures in Europe. And so Croatia is uh, something that people often miss in, in terms of, you know, what's what's happening there. But we do have quite a big cultural heritage uh, that spans over many, many millennia. I mean, even if, if I tell you that uh, the oldest cheese in the world was actually made in Croatia, it's 7,000 years old, you know, just, you know, you know that there's a lot of history here. The Croatian uh, culture is a mix of uh, Venice, Italy, and the uh, Balkan, mostly Turkish, you know, and then the, the entire blend is then uh, has some its own specialties and exclusivities that are, you know, uh, and you cannot find anywhere else. Uh, we try to, you know, include our guests in these activities, seeing, you know, wonderful events and similar, but only if they have interest in that. So we don't push for this. You know, right now people are more interested in Game of Thrones than in, in regular culture of Croatia. But, you know, they always get a sense and a bit of a learning experience about what Croatia is. Art and history, many, many thousand years of, of history is still present here. And that's what Croatia is very well known for. Dubrovnik, Hvar, all these big medieval cities, ancient city of Split, Zadar, lovely monuments all over the country. It's regarding the, the if the borders will be open soon for the international travelers. I was replying about the hotels that is in May, but for the international yeah. travelers, I don't know if you have any prediction. May, the, May as well? the closest, yes, May is the closest that we can we can predict actually at this moment. Okay. So let's say if the clients are into archaeology, uh, we as a company donate money to archaeology. Thanks to our money, we found a uh, 3,500 years old settlement underwater that guests can visit exclusively with us. So you can, you know, if you have someone who wants to do something quite, quite unique and special, we can have them go underwater. You know, it's like only three meters of water and people can go, you know, scuba gear or just snorkeling gear and see the settlement that was underwater with pillars and everything, you know, which is quite spectacular and quite special. So if you have a client on a yacht, they can come over and see this because there are so much more, you know, to Croatia than just going to hotel and restaurant. There's, if people are really curious, they can have a Croatian experience quite, quite big. Uh, Alan, if you can so, just go back to uh, to the previous slides, uh, they want to know uh -huh. the name of the room that you just showed. This is in Istria. This is close to Bale, but it's on the water. This is close to Pula. This is a Roman uh, Villa Rustica. It's uh, 1700 years old and it's abandoned and it's by this lovely beach in, in Istria part, which is in the hillside, in the seaside part. It's very beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Sailing, sailing a yacht. This is a big, big part of uh, our business, and there are a lot of requests coming for for sailing and yachting. We have our own selection of yachts and boats that we worked with. No matter if the client is looking for a seven day, two weeks on a boat, or they just want to do day trips. Let's say the client wants to do stay in hotels and have a yacht to move around. Possible, easy. Same crew throughout. So this is something that can be done because Croatia has a fantastic archipelago that's very close by. All the distances are fairly short. Unlike in other countries in Europe, you can sail. It's very safe. It's very calm the ocean. It's very beautiful to swim in. So this is something the clients really, really enjoy. So everything from a gulet to luxury yacht, it can be done. There are several routes 
suggested for clients at, at every single time we have a request. Usually people are doing split to Dubrovnik one way, split to split, Dubrovnik to split, and moving around around only the south of Dalmatian archipelago. But we can always do Croatia uh, and Montenegro combination in case they're wondering. But the, there is a stop in Tivat for more for border crossing. So it's not just, a, you know, just crossing to Montenegro. Or we can do a, a northern route that takes them to really, really uh, off the beaten path, Croatia, that, you know, if they want privacy, this is it. They can see Silba, they can see Loshin, they can see Unie, all the beautiful islands on the, of the north. And the variety of yachts, uh, you know, starts from a regular sailing yacht to a luxury yacht that are 100 meters long, if you book and something like that. Family, again, we are very big on family and there are a lot of activities, a lot of great guides who specialize in this. As you can see at the very bottom, there's a small guy with a, with a helmet on. Uh, that's the kid, you know, doing the, the caving trip. So this is quite, quite unique and special for, for children at any time. Family is a big part of our business and uh, especially multi-generation so ranging from five years old to 80 years on a, on a trip it's it's common we usually do you know separate trips when they want to do different things in the same day but usually they want to stay together so it's a lot of customizing the, of the of the trip uh, on that basis accommodation obviously the big part but as you know there are a lot of interesting hotels in croatia Everything from Grand Hotel Park in, in Istria to Amman. And right now, there will be one and only in Montenegro. I'm sure you got invitations and everything. Uh, we do only four star and five star. We inspect our hotels yearly, every single time. Every single year, we go there for at least once. And we know a lot of the staff and they always appreciate our uh, attention to guests. And they are, uh, you know, giving us all when we can get the special amenities, upgrades and similar. Right at the bottom, there's Amman and there's uh, on the left, there's a lemon garden hotel on Brac that's been very successful we've been doing very very good business with them uh, for years now as we prefer them then to Hvar. Hvar only in 2019 got Palace Elizabeth very good hotel but five proper five star and now Hotel Maslina but our, our clients uh, did not enjoy the noise and madness of uh, Hvar Island not all of them so we put them in Lemon Garden to enjoy, you know, quiet and, and great day and the great evening here while they can spend the day on, on Hwar Island on a yacht. So that was, that worked like brilliantly. The villas, uh, we started first with the villas in Croatia, with luxury villas in Croatia only. We have our own portfolio and we know all these properties by heart. There are some palaces, there are some castles. There are quite unique properties in Croatia for this. Prices ranging from 1,300 euros, 1,000 euros per night to 5,000 euros per night, depending on the, on the level of luxury in all parts of the country. Just right now, we received new two villas Villas for Hwar, spectacular villas built by a Ukrainian billionaire. And he wants you know to work with us will be you know to offer them uh, to our clients because he knows that we have really kind special clients. Getting around again, Mercedes fleet, helicopters, yachts, standard stuff, what you expect in this is always uh, included in our offer. We try to be creative with this. So when you do a let's say a transfer from one place to another, we try to include it as a as a day trip so people have like they can get a great value. So it's not just you know you go from Kvar to Dubrovnik, but you also stop on Kochula, you stop for swimming in some place, you stop on Mietti National Park for lunch similar and you know we can pursue different interests or you can stop for wine tasting and route so it's pretty much never just a straight transfer we try to give as much as possible some unique experience while going to that to the final destination concierge services many many times people ask us to organize picnic on a beach uh, you know unique dinner some special events smaller of smaller size so we can always organize this uh, we haven't done weddings but we've been you know included in planning all this because people you know when we don't specialize in that but we can always do something quite unique for that uh, you see people smoking cigars let me just tell you that there's a second best uh, cigar club in club in the world is located in split croatia it's owned by a friend of mine and he does cigar smoking championship which is crazy thing just you know when you think of it but he does amazing amazing event that's like uh, 12 years old now and uh, there's so many people coming from all over the world just to see you know the, just to smoke cigars to, in croatia which is you know quite incredible but this guy is uh, you know so much fun and people love him because of his passion and energy uh movie set what to say croatia is becoming more and more popular right now we are seeing more movies being shot in croatia game of thrones is the bigger one biggest one but more and more movies will be shot in croatia even this year as well 
I see, you know, already we see some movement uh, for the from May onwards that will be, you know, taking place in Croatia. So this is it. This is briefly about us. One thing you should remember about the Secret Mission and the, our company is always we do properly customize trips. We need details on the client. We need to know in order to make the trip special. We need to know details, and then we can definitely see, you know, go and create something quite unique. It's easy to give you an itinerary, you know, split car Dubrovnik, but that's that can be so much, so much better. No matter if we go with a proper boat and we adjust things and route. Um, We've done that. You know, we try to have everything under control and it takes a, a, a big, big effort on us. But it's it's something that we really enjoy. We're very passionate about this and every trip must be a success. The ultimate goal for all of us is that the client is happy and then you will be happy. And then at the end, everyone will be happy. So that's that's about us. That's If very you nice, Helen. Thank you. I have one question here regarding self-drive. Um, usually, mm-hmm. how do uh, how do you move clients from one city to another? And if you if you consider self-drive is feasible in the region? Yes, we usually have private transfers. All the services we do are private. Uh, you know, our clients don't even touch their luggage. But if clients want to do rent a car, it's possible. However, in peak season, we don't recommend it south of Split because south of even in Split, we like them to get rid of the car because it gets crazy with traffic, uh, parking, and it's just you know it's a big mess. So we like to you know have them in, in Split and then do privately things. But if they want, the, it's definitely possible. People are doing it. We can assist with that. But again, it's not recommended because it can really ruin the experience with all the mess with ferries. Maybe they can go late on a ferry. You know, different things can affect this. While with private transfers, we are always in charge and it's our responsibility. Perfect. And they also want to know if you sell the ferry tickets to the islands. Yes, we do ferry tickets as well. Uh, that's not a problem. Just we need to know it in advance and then we can provide the clients with that. That's perfect. Let me see if we have other questions. If you work with group reservations. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I just like to know what kind of group is that because we've done a lot of specialty groups. If you can give us a bigger input on, on what you are looking for, then we can definitely consider it. I'd like to know, know more because we've done, you know, group trips in the past, even 100 people groups uh, we've done, but we need to know more about the group, how to prepare it. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. So Karin, she's asking about the group. So maybe um, we can we can send her some examples. Yes. And a lot of people are asking here when's going to be the first fan trip because they all want to go. Yes, we want to we want to bring you all here. Let's see, you know, how things progress. I'd like to do something in October at the latest. We see an opening window this summer. Let's talk about it. Let's uh, we'll stay in touch through TL portfolio and uh, let's see what we can, uh, you know, do for that. Because we, you definitely have to see and experience the destination. Yes, fingers crossed. Yes. And also, if you can talk a little bit about the payment and um, cancellation policies. Yes, uh, at the moment we don't take any payments uh, 30 days before the trips. So let's say that's the latest that we take the, the payments. Refunds, uh, we take this very seriously. We refunded all the money from uh, 2020 when people asked for it. We refunded everything and we are trying to minimize that so we don't take any money from you 30 days before the trip. Only then, since the hotels and everything else is requiring, but we are keeping an eye on this and uh, we stay in very close connection with you and make sure that if we need to refund, we refund 100% if possible. Usually it's possible, but not if you are booking a villa or yacht. Those have very specific regulations and then re- those require 30% deposits when on booking. But for land trips, we are very, very flexible and we can arrange everything for you. That's perfect. That's very nice. And uh, they are all asking about the, um, the payments as well, because we have that issue that we have with the government, the taxes. Mm-hmm. So this is something we're looking at, right? Um, yes. To see some solutions, how we can um, make the payments, uh, some apps as well. So Secret Dalmatia yes. is searching some, for some ways to help the agents. Yes, we don't take any extra fees on credit card bookings. We can send you a credit card link, but we have to see what your government is doing about it. So we are looking for for solution to that for sure. 
either we we will have a account in a country in a country that you have a good tax regime with or will but we'll definitely bypass this we have you know a few more months before actually this traveling season starts but we will keep you in, in touch with with all these details that's perfect and Elaine she wants to know where is the best five bedroom villa we're gonna have this next session is totally dedicated to villas but I don't know if you have your favorite that you can talk a little bit about the the, the villa or the destination Quite a few villas of that type. My favorites are in Dubrovnik area and the Kochula and Brach Island. There will be some new ones on Hvar, but I have to see them before I can recommend them. So again, it's in a, in a popular in a popular area. Alan, I just want to reconfirm the information for the agents so they know that a Secret Dalmatia can do any kind of service. So it doesn't matter if it's only yes. a hotel, only a transfer. Então, gente, eles podem fazer só um transfer ou só um hotel ou só algum serviço, mas tenham em mente que, claro, é sempre algo especial para o seu cliente. Então, mesmo que for só para um transfer, mandem detalhes sobre qual o perfil do cliente, o que eles gostam, porque daí o Alan consegue fazer dessa experiência ser uma experiência Secret Dalmatia maravilhosa e com vários detalhes também. The, if I may add, the thing about it is there is no minimum on your service. You can just, you know, ask for a transfer and we can do just a transfer for you. We consider this a being a partnership. And if we are a partner, I cannot limit your booking with me at, let's say, 5,000 euros. That's not fair. But, you know, eventually if you see the value in working with us, you will send clients. Exactly. We, you know, we hope that that's the normal way. Exactly. I think we, we have a few more questions, but I want to, before we go, with other questions. I want to introduce the whole team. Where yes, is please. Lia? Lia, please. please. Ivana. Olá, Lia bom quer dia. falar umas palavras. Hi. A Lia, ela fala português, pessoal. Então, os itinerários também podem ser todos feitos em português para os seus clientes. E ela vai traduzir, vai explicar também o que vocês precisarem de detalhes para cada itinerário, para cada perfil de cliente. Sim, mental, podem enviar todos os pedidos em português também. E um prazer em conhecer a você. Muito bom, muito bom. E Ivana, always, always help us with everything. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hope you enjoyed your time with us. I was kind of watching chat, trying to respond to some of your questions, but it was mostly in Portuguese. So don't blame me if I did something wrong and answered wrong your question. But through TL or with us, you can contact us for everything. We will follow up on this webinar and send you all the requested details later on. Perfect. Lia, they said congratulations <laughs> for your Portuguese. Very <laughs> good. Yes, just Elaine asked about the if there's like a services tariff, um, certified services, né? Um, they don't. So they have everything like it's very exclusive. They can send you the, the rates for the services, but it's uh, on request and it's tailor made, right, Alan? Yes, but you know, if you have any requests, always uh, contact us. We can. You know, provide all this for, for you. So it's, don't worry about it. Yes. E a gente vai mandar no, no follow-up, tem é, as sugestões de roteiros, então dá para ter uma noção do day-by-day, day, dos valores também, das sugestões de hotéis, então eu vou mandar isso tudo no, no follow-up. Então, só para reforçar, a gente acha que maio vai ser possível, mas ninguém sabe ainda, então tem que esperar mais um pouquinho, é, principalmente para brasileiro, né? Mas vamos esperar. E reforçar também que quem participar das cinco sessões, na primeira venda com a Secret Dalmatia, vai ter uma inclusão de um walking para o cliente, então é um incentivo legal. Alan, Lia, Ivana, thank you very much for your time, for showing so many good things for us. We cannot wait. Obrigada. And uh, see you next section next Thursday. Yes, thank you. Yes. Obrigada. See you all next week. Bye. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye bye. Obrigada, pessoal. Boa tarde. Bom fim de semana.